high 7th grade ELA. So if you missed Monday's class, darn it, make sure to come to tomorrow for Tuesday at 11 a.m. Um, if you missed Monday's class, though, make sure to watch this video so you can help and support your group. So for Monday and Tuesday, we're going to continue working on our note-taking, collecting information. And so when we're talking and looking at our synthesizing notes and becoming really advanced note takers. I want us to think back to all of the work that we've previously done. We're thinking back to our vocabulary work. We're thinking about our work that we've collected, the summaries that we have made. And I really want us to start thinking next level on how we're going to get ready for these presentations about these topics. And so when we're talking about high leverage academic habits that we can create, I want us to think about the background knowledge that we are collecting. And I really want us to think about how are we putting this into our own words? How are we collecting the information so our group can be successful? And so when we're talking about background knowledge, I just I want us to be thinking about do we know what is happening about this conversation? I also want us to work on becoming efficient study partners. And so what that means is, does everybody always know what their role is? Do we know how we're going to collect information? And also just keeping thoughtful notebooks. Is where we're taking notes make sense? Do we need to switch gears? And on Monday's class, we're going to go ahead and kind of check in with each other and see if we should switch gears and kind of shift how we're taking notes or if the Google document shared for each group makes sense. And so what we're doing today is I want us to really think about how are we being most successful when we're collecting our notes. I want us to reread and reorganize our notes to synthesize our learning. And one way for this to happen is for us to pause and to look and annotate and possibly create new synthesized pages of our notes. And so when we're looking at how do great readers use their notebooks, they're capturing information, they're planning and innovating, they're analyzing and connecting, they're reflecting and wondering, and then they're also visualizing, and this can be done in sketches. And there's lots of different ways this can be done. And so when we're looking at our notes on Google Docs, I'm not really seeing that. I'm seeing, it kind of almost looks like copy-pasted notes here and there um, from Google, but I'm not knowing what each person is thinking. I don't know what Elway is thinking. I don't know what Tyson is thinking. I'm wondering what's Julian thinking. What's Nikayla doing? And so when we're looking and collecting this information about these political organizations, about these themes that have, that are quite controversial, we want to think about what are your thoughts? What are your wonderings as you're doing this research? And so one thing we can do this is I want to look at this, um, this link right here for famous um, journal articles. And I want you and your group just to spend a couple of minutes looking at it because it's really cool to see the different uses of um, how journaling is done. And so we're going to see Right over here, this is uh, MLK's Martin Luther King Jr.'s Nobel Prize acceptance speech. And you can see he hand wrote it. It didn't have any lines. And you can see right over here that this is just his hand. Um, it's just a copy of it. And you can see he crossed out some things. Not a big mistake. William Clark. Um, so this is part of um, the United States and, like, for expansion. Um... Normally, he's known for like being with Sokka Dewey and all that. Um, but you can see that it has an image here of the white salmon trout. Just lots of different uses of the notebook. And so when we're looking at maybe Leonardo da Vinci's weapons, that could be cool and violent. Let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> we can see that it has the image and the picture right over here, some notes on the side, and then it also has some more precise details and notes around it. And so when we're looking and thinking about what our notebooks look like, I really want us to think about how are we making them our own. So I want to remind us, when we're immersing ourselves into a topic in research, I really want us to think about building the background knowledge, what we knew, what was easy at the beginning, maybe what you collected the first day, and now what's becoming more challenging as you're collecting more data? What have you learned since the beginning? I want you to think thoughtfully, maybe less notes and more of your own words. Thinking about different roles in the group. So sometimes we have someone who wants to take charge right away 
And sometimes we have people who want to support each other. That's interesting. They want to know what other roles they could take. Maybe we have someone who's going to challenge someone. And just keep in mind, like, for some of us, it's easier and harder. So remember, for introverts and extroverts, introverts are a little bit more quiet and to themselves. They tend to be more of a follower, while extroverts are a little bit louder and, and tend to be really good about giving different roles for people. But we just want to think about what is each person giving to the group? How are we helping each other? And also with vocabulary and concepts. So are we understanding the words? Are we able to put them together? And then how are we using the vocabulary words since then? And today what I really want us to think about today and Monday is how are we synthesizing our ideas and information, the new information that we are getting. And so make sure you check the Google Doc to look for next steps. And let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Try to come to class at Tuesday at 11 a.m. And I will see you then. Bye.